Hello everyone, welcome to another section of Schneider Electric PLC training tutorials where we will learn Schneider Electric PLC programming. So in this video, we will learn the programming languages used for programming PLC as well as the criteria for choosing a PLC. So to get exclusive content on our different videos, please visit our website at www.expertlearningzone.com or you contact us at info at expertlearningzone.com so to begin we are going to study the different softwares that we can use to program some of the popular plc plc brands out there so we have the semesti portal and the semantic step 7 so these are the softwares that are used to program the cement brands of plc for example we have the cement 200 the cement 300 the cement 400 the cement 500 up to the cement 1500 so these two Integrated environments are the environment that are used to program the cement, cement PLC. But here a portal has been found to be the most widely used. The next one that we are going to look at is the Alan Bradley PLCs. So with the Alan Bradley PLC, we can program them with the RS Logic 500, MicroLogix, RS Logic uh, 5000, RS Links. So these are the environments that we can use to program Alan Bradley brands of PLC. And this environment, we choose them based on the processor that we are programming. Like for example, we have the compact logics, the, the control logics, which we can program using the RS Logic 5000. And we have a PLC like the PLC5, like the SLC500, which we can program using the RS Logic 500. Next, we'll now move to the Schneider branch of, of PLC. So with the Schneider branch of PLC, we can program them using the Unity Pro or the Control Expert. And with the Unity Pro, we can program the Modicon M340, the Modicon M580, the Premium, the Quantum, the Momentum Unity. So these PLCs with the Unity Pro environment, we will be, we will be able to develop or we can develop different uh, applications, different industrial automated application that is however worth noting that we also have other plc's like mishibushi and we can program them using the like the mishibushi plc and we can program them using the gx developer or delta plc using the isp soft iap soft software but you should we, we, we should also understand that the uh, cement alan bradley schneider mishibushi delta have been found to be considered as uh, some of the giants in the business of industrial automation so that said, we are now going to move straight away to the, the programming languages. So in the IEC 61131-3 standard, there are five programming languages that we can use to program a PLC. The first and the oldest has been the ladder, the ladder diagram. And the ladder diagram originated from our electromechanical relay diagram. So you can clearly see that this is an example ladder logic. And it follows what well, it follows the pattern of our normal relay diagram. So when we will get into the programming aspect of this tutorial, we are going to see how we can program in a software environment using ladder logic. The next is the instruction list, and with the instruction list, it is similar to the assembly. So if you are very good with programming with assembly, then this can be a language that you may want to consider for developing your PLC application. So the third one now is a function block diagram. So this function block diagram is very, very much similar to our digital logic circuit, where we pick logic bo blocks and build the logic together. For example, we have the AND gate, we have the OR gate, which we can use to build an AND or OR expression. Then we have the structured text, which is similar to Pascal or C. And with the structured text, we use it to build complex algorithms. Okay, we use it to build complex industrial automation systems and uh, uh, we use it in a scenario whereby using ladder logic or function block diagram become very very much complicated to implement. And finally we have the sequential function charts also called the graph set and we use this paradigm to implement automated systems that function based on predefined steps. Okay, steps that are, are sequential. Okay, like, uh, like for, for example, a, a streetlight system becomes very, very much easy to implement with 
a sequential function chart okay with this in mind we are now going to see what are some of those criteria that will enable you to choose a particular plc first we'll look at the input output capacity so it is important to note that the number of input output variable which the plc can possess must be greater than or equals to the number of input output variable of the system the next will be the the processor so depending on the processor or depending on the application you want to choose a particular processor and some of the factors that will influence your decision on choosing a particular processor may include the size of the memory the speed of information processing and other special other special functions okay like for for for, for example in the cement brands of plc the uh, 200 series doesn't have the same processing capability as the 1200 or the 1500 series okay the next or the third criteria that we will look at is the communication with other equipment so now based on the capacity of the plc to communicate with other equipment like the hmi like plc like supervisory system like feedback control system you want to choose a particular plc based on those those, those those features or based on those characteristics and depending on the application that you are you are building and the fourth that we are going to look at is the networking the capability the networking in the tcp ip okay so your plc must be able to have the tendency of it being integrated into an existing tcp ip so without that it becomes very difficult to integrate an application in an already existing application so with that you will want to choose a particular plc based on its networking capability okay so that will be all for this uh, for this presentation and uh, uh, please uh, for further information visit our site at www.expertlearningzone.com to get to get detailed access on some of the explicit engineering knowledge you will need for your training in uh, automation and plc programming